Today we had another thread pop up in the group talking about an all-in-one migration import failing and what a total pain that is. And I know when you go to migrate a client site over to their URL, it can be a really stressful experience. And I've fiddled with all-in-one migration a million times and I've had that go right and I've had it go wrong. But when you're dealing with a client's website, you really don't wanna deal with the consequences of what happens when it goes wrong. Now, about a year or so ago, I moved over to a new solution and honestly, I've never looked back. This has never given me any problems and the process is so smooth and simple no matter what host you're moving from or what host you're moving to. The plugin I'm gonna show you today is called Migrate Guru and you can download it for free inside the WordPress repository. In this video, I'm gonna migrate one site over to a destination URL and you'll get to see the entire process from start to finish. It really is simple and I think by the time you're done watching this video, it's definitely gonna be your go-to plugin as well. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. All right, so what I got set up here is just two different sites. This on devsite.ogle.dev, we're gonna pretend is the development site that we have ready to launch. And here on destination.ogle.dev, we're gonna pretend that this is the final URL this website needs to go to. So when we're done, we should be taking this development site and overriding this site on the destination URL. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go in here and add a new plugin. We're gonna search for Migrate Guru. We'll hit Install and Activate. And then we'll go into site number two and we're gonna repeat the same process. We need the same plugin on both sites. All right, so back to the original development site that we're gonna move over. We'll click here on Migrate Guru and we have to put in our email address and we have to click I agree and click migrate site. Now here you're gonna be given a list of options of hosts. These are where they have some native integrations, but even if you see your host here, I would honestly say just pick other hosts because we're gonna use the migration key. This is the key to making it really, really simple. So to get the migration key, we have to go to the final URL site, this destination site, click on Migrate Guru, and click Migration Key. Here we can go ahead and copy that, go back to our development site, paste it in, and hit Migrate. Now what you're probably wondering is how long is this migration gonna to take to complete? And really that depends on the size of your website. If you have a small website like these little demo websites that I'm migrating now, it can only take three to five minutes for it to complete. But if you have a very large site, something like an e-commerce website or a photography website, that could take longer. You might be waiting 30 or 60 minutes for the full migration to take place. But as soon as it's done, you'll get a confirmation screen and you can move on to the next steps. All right, and after it finishes up, you will get this success screen. I'm sure there's a failure screen too, but I've never seen to find it. And now when we click the green button, we should see the development site on the destination URL. So let's go ahead and click it. And you can see here, we've overridden that old black screen that said site two with our development site. For me, even though I've used all-in-one migration for many, many years now, this is so much more of a simple process. And I've had some of the all-in-one migration imports fail or even cause additional problems. When I'm going that route, I'm always careful to take extra backups of both sites to make sure nothing goes wrong. But with Migrate Guru, I've really never had any kind of problem at all. I'd love to know down in the comments below what you thought of this video, if this is something you'd consider using in the future. For the price tag, you really can't beat it.